Good morning to all and welcome to the session, the Hindu editorial analysis for proficiency in English. Today's editorial is all about elections fast approaching in the state of Telangana and the major parties. This editorial provides a complete picture when it comes to elections fast approaching in the state of general elections in the state of Telangana. This editorial provides a comprehensive analysis. There is one important word, though we have got many a time, comprehensive. Comprehensive means what? Complete. But you have to recollect words like exhaustive. Exhausted, tired. That is a different word. Exhaustive means complete, comprehensive. I use this word quite often. Holistic, comprehensive, exhaustive, and holistic, they all mean the same. Taking everything into consideration. This editorial provides a comprehensive analysis of the political landscape. We have already got this expression, political landscape. Last time, last time also I told you guys, the word landscape goes with painters and photographers. And if they go to beach, we use the word seascape. But your political landscape means a complete picture in the state of Telangana against the backdrop of elections in Telangana leading up to the general election in 2024. It's all about general elections which are fast approaching in 2024 in the state of Telangana. What is the tone of the editorial? The tone of the editorial appears to be analytical and objective. Here you have seen complete or comprehensive analysis based on that analytical and also objective. I have already given two words, subjective, objective. What do the words mean? Subjective means personal, personal opinion, subjective opinion, objective based on facts. Objective analysis means based on facts, no stand taken by the editorial. A three-pronged race. Three-pronged means three-dimensional. But here, literal meaning three different ways. Here, three different parties. You have to take it as three different parties. When it comes to elections, we use words like race, war, battlefield. And here, a three-pronged race means there are three major parties in the fray. That means that they're going to contest in elections on Telangana and the general election in 2024. What is the main idea? As a BRS slips, means the position of BRS has come down. The Congress stays ahead. Congress is the leading party. The Congress is the leading party in Telangana. Any editorial like this, you have to guess the broad framework. Because it is about elections, it will touch the parties in the free. That means the party is going to contest. Then it provides a glimpse into the past. Who was in power before? Who is in power right now? And because it is about uh, past approaching elections, who is going to come to power in future? When it talks about the past, present, and future, it will obviously touch the strengths and weaknesses of different parties, one thing. It also touches, usually at the time of elections, candidates or leaders uh, jump from one party to another party. For that, we use the word defection, political defection. It talks about the political defections. And sometimes what happens, they may, they may not be a major party, or one or two parties, though they are not major, they may make an impact. They do make an impact. It may touch about those parties or party as well. This frame uh, editorial also follows the same framework and easy to comprehend simple words. Today's editorial is an easy editorial. Let us see how it starts. With the behemoth, an important word. We have got a few times. Behemoth means something that is extremely large and often extremely powerful. You can think of words like uh, colossus, giant, and also Herculean. 
There are so many words, in fact, with a behemoth like the Bharat Rashtra Samiti. Once BRS was a major party and uh, colossal, exactly. BRS with a behemoth like the Bharat Rashtra Samiti on the wane. Wane usually goes with moon. But in this context, it goes with the BRS party. <coughs> Excuse me. What does it mean to become weaker in strength or influence? BRS party once very powerful, very strong. It could rule the Telangana state after the formation for two terms, 10 years, a decade. But slowly its power, its strength, its influence coming down or disappearing. Then we use the word wane with a behemoth like uh, the Bharat Rashtra Samiti, BRS, on the wane. On the one hand, I use this quite often. On the one hand, on the other hand. Ah, waning moon. Very good. Naidu Paidi. On the one hand and frantic. Crossovers across party lines. Frantic means a full of excitement. And whenever there's a party, frantic, we use words like frantic, frenzy, means very excited, trying to do things in a hurry. Uh, frantic crossovers across party lines on the other, on the one hand, on the other hand. Telangana could well be among the most heavily contested states in South India in the general election. When it comes to general election, Telangana state in South India could be heavily contested state. When we talk about contesting, what are the parties? While the Congress won an impressive 39 percent votes in the assembly election in November 2023, former Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao's BRS, which is now the principal opposition party after a decade in power, was only two percentage points short in terms of vote share. As I said, any editorial related to elections uh, talks about what happened in the past and what is the situation right now. This talks about in November 2023, Telangana Assembly elections, who came to power, the Congress came to power, and how many, what was the percentage of votes, 39%. And today, what is the major opposition party, the BRS party, belongs to K. Chandrasekhar Rao. And this party got 2%. Not a major difference if you look at the vote share, was only two percentage points short in terms of vote share. The Congress bettered its vote share by 14 percentage. There is substantial improvement when it comes to the Congress party. The Congress bettered its vote share by 14 percentage points from the 2018 assembly elections, while the BRS declined by a similar margin means 14 percentage from a dominant 47 percent. Here something is positive, something is negative. The Congress bettered its vote share, 14 percentage. That is substantial improvement. On the other hand, the BR has declined. Decline is a verb we have got many a time. Decline means what? Gradually become less, worse or lower. Declining numbers, declining standards, declining quality. Ah, yes, triple Sundar, you have to recollect principle, principle. Declined by a similar margin means more or less a 14 percentage from a dominant 47 percent. But as a Hindu had reported then, had reported then, past perfect tense means in the past, past incident. But as a Hindu had reported then, the swing against the BRS appears. Perhaps the Hindu reported that there was swing against the BRS party. It also repeat, reported the swing may go in the direction of the BJP or may go in the direction of the Congress. It talks about that. But as a Hindu had reported then, the swing against the BRS appears to have gone both in favor of the BJP, BJP Bharatiya Janta Party, and the Congress. Here appears to have gone an important expression. Had reported past perfect, appears present, but to have gone, this is Perfect infinitive to have gone, non finite verb. This is make you may get in the exam this pattern appears to have gone both in favor of the BJP and the Congress in Adivasi dominated areas for the BJP and Muslim dominated regions for the Congress. Exactly, very good. I appreciate that non finite verb. Moreover, 
In the nearly four months of the of Congress Chief Minister A. Raymond Reddy's rule, it has been four months since they came to power. Moreover, in the nearly four months of the of Congress Chief Minister A. Raymond Reddy's rule, there has been present perfect again a marked change in the public's perception. Perception means a belief or opinion, often held by many people, and based on how things seem or appear. You, you feel something is this way or it is that way. That is your perception. What are these? Huh? Before political parties, yes, the person very good. Perception of the government and governance. There's a lot of change in the perception of the government and governance. When it comes to the public perception, there's a lot of change in a short period of four and a half, four months. For one, what are the, those changes or what is the change in the perception Ah, notion, opinion, who is this? Anu, very good. For one, Mallu Bhatti Vikramarka, the deputy chief minister and a Dalit, now occupies the official residence of the chief minister built by K. Chandrasekhar in 2016. That is one change. The building has also been renamed Jyotirao Phule Praja Bhavan to counter the perception of inaccessibility and social exclusion. In the past, if you take the official residence of the chief minister, public did not have access. Access means the fact of being able to be reached or obtained easily. Opposite, inaccessible. Noun form, inaccessibility. Before, earlier, in the past, the public did not have access to the official residence of the chief minister. But now, it, is, it has been occupied by the deputy CM and also it has been renamed what what is a new name jyotira phule praja bhavan why did they rename to counter the perception of inaccessibility now uh, the public think it is not accessible to change that perception they have renamed and uh, inaccessibility and social exclusion social exclusion means some groups are not allowed to have access sure kcr's the first deputy and health minister t rajaya who was sagged, means removed, within a year of taking oath, was also a Dalit. But so too was his replacement and former education minister, Kadiam Srihari. While most welfare measures promised by the Congress, such as 200 units of free electricity, are yet to be implemented, very important expression. Whenever you come across the word yet, you have to be alert. If you make the regular pattern, Usually it goes with present perfect tense. The word yet should be at the end of the sentence. The train hasn't come yet. And it is used in negative and negative interrogative sentences. Haven't you posted the letter yet? But sometimes we ask a question, has the train come? Then we say yet to come. Here yet to come active voice. Yet to implement active voice. Yet to be implemented passive voice. That you have to realize. Yet to implement active voice, yet to be implemented passive voice. It talks about the promises, part of the manifesto. While most welfare measures promised by the Congress, such as 200 units of free electricity, are yet to be implemented fully. Due to the model code of conduct, elections are fast approaching. Model code of conduct is in place. Based on that, they cannot do certain things. Why they could not implement fully? due to the model code of conduct in place for the seven phased Lok Sabha elections. The public appears to be in no hurry yet to write off the Congress. Only four months, the, though they haven't implemented a lot of promises, part of the manifesto, because of the model code of conduct being in place, the public are not in a hurry, appears to be in no hurry to yet to write off the Congress. They may take some time. It is too early to say whether the Congress party is doing well or not doing well. And with recent high profile defections, at the time of elections, we naturally come across defections. Uh, leaders jumping from one party to another party, political defections. And with recent high profile defections from the BRS to the Congress, such as Mr. Sri Hari and Rajya Sabha member K. Keshav Rao, who is widely viewed to be KCR's trusted lieutenant, the likelihood of the BRS matching its performance in the 2019 general election, nine seats and a 42% vote share, appears bleak. See, from here to here, one sentence. But idea is very simple.
the prospects of the BRS matching its performance in 2019, it bleak. Bleak means what? Little or no hope for the future. It talks about the BRS party last time could win nine seats and it got a 42% vote share. The sentence is this time it is not possible in the sense no hope as such. What is the reason for that? Because of political defections. To substantiate that statement, two high profile leaders defections from the BRS to the Congress. And who are those? One, Mr. Srihari, Kadiyam Srihari, former education minister. The other, Rajya Sabha member K. Keshava Rao. He was the general secretary of the BRS party also, who is widely viewed. This is again President's passive voice. We view someone, someone is viewed, he is widely viewed, he is viewed. President's passive voice. To be KC as a trusted lieutenant, the likelihood, the chances of the BRS matching its performance in the 2019 general election, that means getting nine seats, getting a 42% vote share, appears bleak. I usually use this word. Chances are bleak means what? Ah, very good. Triple Sundari. Chances are less. An important indicator not to be missed. The editorial opines there's some indicator that we should not miss. What is that? An important indicator not to be missed is a doubling of the BJP's vote share from 7% to 14% between 2018 and 2023 assembly elections. 2000. Thank you very much. I'm glad to know that. Here, vote share of the BJP has doubled. That we should not miss. From 7% to 14% between the 2018 and 2023 assembly elections. This is an indicator that the party is becoming very strong and that we should not miss. This points to, based on that, what is the headline? How does the editorial start? Three-pronged race means there are three parties in the fray or three parties going to contest and the contest the elections are going to be not very simple heavily contested elections based on that this points to a three-pronged race major idea being reiterated emerging in telangana three-pronged means three dimensional three parties in this context and uh, three ways what are the three major parties one is the congress right now in power and the second, obviously, the BRS for a decade, it was in power. And the third, because of the doubling of the vote share from 7% to 14%, we cannot ignore the BJP. It, it is also going to make an impact based on the three-pronged race. At the fag end of the editorial, as I said, the editorial touches the major parties at the time of elections, but it may also touch one or two parties which may not be major parties, but they may make an impact on the elections. The next sentence talks about that. Uh, here, OIC's party, the MIM, is still a major player, though without any formal alliance. Alliance, we have got many a time. Group of countries, but in this context, political parties of, of people who have agreed to work together because of shared interests or aims. Here, right now, as of now, MIM hasn't gone for any alliance and MIM also makes an impact when it comes to elections. It remains to be seen. We have to wait and see or wait and watch here again to be seen in passive voice. It remains to be seen how its supporters, MIM supporters vote in the seats that it is not contesting. Some constituencies MIM is not contesting. There, how the party is going to uh, vote, that we have to wait and watch, or it remains to be seen. Uh, that may make an impact. I think it ends on that particular note, yes. A very short editorial, familiar editorial elections. I have been doing in the recent past, I've done quite a number of editorials related to elections. And uh, this is what happens. What happens here, when you read the Hindu paper for three months or six months or nine months, I have already created an acronym. What is that acronym? Sleeps. 
whether you are preparing for civil services or banks or SSC or state public service commission exams, this acronym will be extremely useful as a framework to be followed. What do the letters stand for? Science and technology, legal, education, economy, polity, socio-cultural problems. And I usually offline classes, I give about 50 topics to my students based on each area. I tell them the same topics you will get in the exam, whether prelims or mains or descriptive English or GD or interview. I am so confident. I say that with conviction. I tell them I can give in writing. They cannot go beyond these 50 topics. Those 50 topics, if you are thorough with those 50 topics, you can easily answer many questions in prelims, whether descriptive or ob uh, objective, doesn't matter. Multiple choice, doesn't matter. And these topics are extremely. Here, today's editorial belongs to the letter P, means what? Polity, political uh, system or political the scenario. And when it comes to polity, I give topics like elections, simultaneous elections, secularism, secular parties, religious parties, and uh, same time elections. Important topics are there. That's all for today. I hope you guys have got enriched. Have a nice day. I will see you guys. I, I, you all know, join at 7.30. You can work on practice questions or mini mocks based on grammar, reading comprehension skill, and vocabulary. Before I wind up the session, do remember to subscribe and share. Thank you very much.